the swing. Not only within England, but within the Commonwealth, our all absolutely thrilled to hear the good news about this wonderful baby boy born to Prince William and the Duchess. And I'd like to propose a toast to the new royal baby. <laughs> the Commonwealth as a government meeting is a wonderful opportunity for everyone, heads of government from 54 countries to come to our country, to go to the north, south, west and east, to see for themselves, <coughs> along with the world's media, the reality of contemporary Sri Lanka. Lord Howell of Guildford, we're so delighted to have you here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Commonwealth Secretary General, His Excellency Kandish Sharma, uh, members of the Lords, Lord Lumba, Lord Dalakia, Lord Drogan, Baroness Greengross, Sir Alan Greengross, Baroness Flather, Mark Menzies, James Wharton, Bob Blackman, Charles Tanak Brown, young Ewan Blair, a budding member of Parliament. It's so wonderful to have so many of you from England. Many of you have actually taken the trouble to visit the country, and that is what we enormously appreciate. We want to welcome all of you to Sri Lanka for the Heads of Government meeting. I myself, since I took up my tenure in September, have had a wonderful relationship with all of you, the Commonwealth High Commissioners. We've been together, we've sat on the Board of Governors of the Commonwealth Secretariat, and it is, what has really struck me is it's always been in the spirit of unity and friendship. Therefore, we are not prescriptive to each other. We are not prejudgmental to each other. What we do is we have an empathy with each other. We assist each other in true commonwealth spirit. We don't have dogma, and we don't have prescription, but what we do is work together. And for that, I thank all of you, the Commonwealth High Commissioners represented here today. Before I finish, I also must remember Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. We must always remember the death passion, the friendship, and an enormous sense of duty to the Commonwealth. At the same time, whilst appreciating that, we warmly welcome their Royal Highnesses, Prince Charles and the Duchess, to Sri Lanka. Prince Charles is no stranger to the Commonwealth. He's visited over 30 Commonwealth countries. And I remember meeting him when he accompanied Her Majesty in the Kampala Chop back in 2007. He represented Her Majesty at the uh, Commonwealth Games in Delhi in 2010. As far as Sri Lanka is concerned, he visited to celebrate 50 years of independence in 98, and he also came just two months after the tsunami to look at the effects of the tsunami. And His Royal Highness Prince Charles already has two of the Prince's charities working out in Sri Lanka, Youth Business International, which is doing a lot of work in Hambantota, and uh, the British Asian Trust. I'm extremely proud, I was extremely privileged a few months ago to have been asked to head uh, Prince Charles's British Asian Trust for Sri Lanka. And I think it's given me an opportunity to continue the work that we've been doing in development and having long-term social development projects to uplift the communities in Sri Lanka. So it is in that spirit, ladies and gentlemen, it is in that spirit of unity and friendship and linkage and leveraging on our commonalities that I welcome all of you and extend a really warm welcome to all of you to visit our country either the Chogham itself or one of the three parallel fora, and come join us in Sri Lanka's Renaissance. Thank you.